Well, on September 11th was just like any other ordinary day in Gander. Uh, I was at Tim Martin's coffee shop, uh, where I go almost every morning. And when someone came in and said that a plane had crashed into the World Trade Center in New York, but it was only about probably 15, 20 minutes after when someone else said the, the second plane had crashed. And, you know, Bill started to go off in your head that this is not normal. All of a sudden, our plane took a steep drop and we started turning to the north. I looked up at the GPS and it looked like we were headed to the North Pole. The captain said there was a problem with the American Airs place that was closed and we were diverting to Newfoundland. And I had to look up on my uh, little map thing, like, where's Newfoundland? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we ended up with 38 aircraft and we ended up with uh, a little over 7,000 passengers for five days. A lot were from the United States. There was Germany and there was France and there was England and there was Dublin, uh, Ireland. We covered uh, 98 countries. The first task we were given was to move furniture and make room on the floor for people to sleep. And we did that in two schools. And by the time we arrived back at Gander Academy, where I taught, there were 100 volunteers in the building. There was bedding, there was food. That's the way uh, people in Newfoundland were raised. You, you help each other. We deplaned and walked into the Gander Airport. Immediately, the first thing that happened, we were greeted with food and smiles. Just the whole community mobilized instantly. My husband used to have a saying, you never miss what you give away. And that's so true. There was a little bit of anxiety. It was a different age in 2001, where a gay couple in a foreign country in a small town, but they are a very welcoming community. And as the mayor says, people need help, you help them. It doesn't matter who you are, your religion, your sexual orientation. And isn't that how the world ought to operate? On the first day, we had 7,000 strangers. On the third day, we had 7,000 friends. And on the fifth day, 7,000 family members and we travel all, all the time. And it's clear that if you grow up and you live and you stay in your little community and you never branch out of it, you don't get to experience other cultures. It gives us an opportunity to learn about other people and realize that we're all human at the end of the day. To me, that is what Come From Away reminds us to do is look up and gander, look up at the people around you and talk to them, say hello. You know, a smile, a simple gesture, a small act of kindness, a pay it forward, uh, can, is really what's gonna fix our broken world. It's a long journey, but I think we can get there, and I think this musical is changing people's lives throughout the world. There's no question about it. <laughs>